it's Shelly, Thrifty Farm Mama, and I am bringing you another What's Sold video. Um, so if you have are new to my channel or if you haven't watched any of my videos, I am a very part-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark and eBay. I have about 300 plus listings up on eBay and I think about 100 on Poshmark. And I'm just going to go over what sold this weekend, this past weekend from the 30th to the last night, the 2nd. And um, it's not a ton of stuff, but it's a few and it gives you an idea of what a part-time seller can sell. And then at the end of the video, I'll kind of go over just my overview and what my weeks and month has been looking like and compared to last year what my sales are because it's interesting. Okay. Let's get started. Uh, first thing I sold is this blazer, and it's a tweed blazer with fringed hem. Hem. I've had it for a long time. It's been in my store for a while. <laughs> I think I sold it. I ended up taking a best offer of like ten or twelve dollars or something like that. Um, so it was cute. It just wasn't selling very well. I had it for a long time. So that's the first thing I sold. Uh, next thing I sold was this Eddie Bauer um, denim flannel lined, come on, flannel lined uh, skirt, long skirt, and it was a 10 petite. Um, I think I paid less than $2 for it. It did have some, the buttons on the bottom um, were, let me see if I have a picture of it. Here we go. Important if there are any flaws that you put photos of your flaws. So this had been repaired at one point. Any of you who have ever worn a denim skirt, you know that those bottom buttons, especially ones that button down the front can break off. So this had been repaired. I put that in the listing. I think I took a best offer of um, $10 for it um, plus shipping. So um, next I sold, this is the second time I've sold this top. It's a Tommy Bahama um, very soft rayon. It's wrinkles like a mother. You would not believe it. But I uh, steamed it before I photoed it. It photoed beautifully. Um, the first person returned it because they said it wasn't the same color as they thought it was in the photo, which it is. So I ended up selling it for $10 the second time plus shipping. I'm happy to see it go. This was a, um, you can tell my photo's not very good. I've had this up for a while. It's a vintage Show Me Miller. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's, I had never seen one like it, and this was hard for me to put a title up for because I didn't really know what it was. Um, but it had these velvet um, circles all over it, and the inside of it was 100% silk. It's like a, a long shift dress with sheer velvet wrap. Anyway, I've had it up for a while. I think I took a best offer of $15 for it and was happy to see it go. This was free to me. I did not pay for this. Um, somebody gave it to me as a hand-me-down for my daughters. They did not wear it. It's just an Adidas women's blue mesh uh, short sleeve shirt and with pink detail. You can't see the pink on it very well, but all of the writing and everything is pink. Um, I took a best offer of $5 on that. Happy to see it go. Next, um, these I bought at the bins, just my last trip that I was there, and they are uh, men's diesel Buster regular slim tapered jeans. They're size 38 waist, and they have lots of distressing on them. Some of it natural. I think that was up there was like a handmade repair. Um, hold up. These I sold on Poshmark, and I took a best offer of $30 for them on Poshmark. I thought I sold more on eBay. I'll have to double check. Um, this also sold on Poshmark. Um, I took a best offer of 15 and it was a kid's denim uh, faux fur lined jacket. Super cute. I've only had it up for a few weeks. Um, it was a kid's size 8 and um, that went. And then I also sold this pair of Hudson women's jeans. I also just got this at the bins, these at the bins. And white is a really hard color when you are buying at the Goodwill outlet because the lighting in there is usually horrible. So when I got these home, of course they had some stains on them and I was able to get all of them out using 
handy dandy bleach and soaking them and they came out really well. Otherwise, they're an excellent pair of jeans and I sold them on Poshmark for $30 as well. Um, and those went out. So let's take a quick look at my overview of the week. So you can see that here are my sales. Ooh, I had one big day back here in November. And then the rest, these are just average days for me, anywhere from here's $13, no sales on this day, no sales on this day, no sales yet today. This is very unlike this time of year for me. And I don't know if any of you guys else are having slow days. Um, when I first started doing eBay two years ago, it was highly unlikely to have less than a hundred dollar a day in all through December and January. And I only had about a hundred items listed at that time. And now I have over 300 and look at my sales. So I don't, I think, I don't know if it's just an influx of resellers or if it's just our economy, I'm not sure, but let me know if you guys feel like you, same kind of stuff is going on with you. But here's, so my sales are up a little bit from last month, which it should be because it's December. Um, but as far as if you look down here, you can see your um, last year compared to this year. And I am down 37% from last year. And last year I was down about the same from the year before. So that's more than 60% down since I started. So that's quite a bit. Um, but... By showing you guys this, you can see that, you know, eBay has its ups and downs. And these are, let me show you. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any that I sold this weekend. Oh, yeah. Here's a pair of Levi's that I sold. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> this is a really professional video here. Um, I did sell, I knew I had sold more. I sold a pair of slim Levi's um, gray. They're like a gray washed jeans. Um, I also sold this uh, Cornelokey. It's April Cornell. It's, it was a little girl's velvet pink like fuchsia jacket. And I sold that for $12. And it's new with tags and a really cute bottom to it, um, all ruffled and stuff. So I also sold that one. And I also sold this wool vintage diaper cover. This is the second time I've sold this too. I sold it to somebody else uh, several months ago and um, it did not fit their child. And so it came back um, and I just sold it again. For ten dollars so and it was just this little wool vintage diaper cover super cute for those hipster mamas who want to put their baby in in vintage cloth diapers so I like cloth diapers I get them a lot um, okay so that's pretty much what sold just the weekend not the whole week but just over the weekend so hopefully this is helpful to any of you who are just starting out or who are also part-time sellers um, I do not, I do this all by myself. Uh, I don't have any employees or anything. So um, if you have any questions, put them down below. Otherwise, I hope you guys are doing better than I am and happy selling and listing. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.